This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 this is Halloween. It's Halloween. Woo. Well, it's not. It's Halloween on Monday, but it's the Halloween party tonight. So welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> I haven't even welcomed you yet. Welcome, one and all, to a new vlog. A new week and it's Halloween week. So if you don't like Halloween, maybe it's not the vlog for you. <laughs> it will be, don't worry. There'll be other stuff going on, I can promise you. Um, so I have a long list of jobs to do today. I have got to set out the rest of the decorations. I have got to decorate the front of the bungalow. I am making these little guys. Now look, it makes 10. Right? Not 20, 10. So I've got to try and do them. And I'm also going to make tonight these little apple faces and these strawberries. Except for, I forgot the white chocolate. So when Poppy wakes up, I'm going to ask if she can go and nip down the corner shop and get some white chocolate. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start by these first, I think. And got this cake um, it's a sticky toffee cake and I thought that we could put the little some little not all of them because there's ten but some little meringue ghosts on and also I've got some chocolate eyeballs I've got a load of stuff in here oh I've got so much to do I've got to set the table but Mark hasn't extended it yet Mark's at work it's Poppy's um, come back for the weekend she's in bed at the moment. Um, I've got these two buckets that I thought I could put uh, crisps in tonight. I thought that would be quite fun. I've got these fiendish fancies. We're never going to eat all this because a lot more people were supposed to be coming to the party. And now it's seven of us. But never mind, we've got terrifying toffee wells. Ah, here's the eyeballs eerie eyeballs so they'd look good on the cake as well wouldn't they but it's only a little cake so it's not going to have you know room for loads of stuff i maybe be able to stick them around the edge i'll see um what else have we got in here vampire fan crisps and oh yeah um yummy mummy calling the caterpillars from m s so I've got plenty to be getting on with, but I thought I'm going to make these first and then I'll start with some decorations. camera angle right so I've laid set the table I haven't extended it because I think we'll be able to fit everything on I'm hoping anyway um, I'm just gonna set out some we've got all these Halloween glasses because we used to have like really big Halloween parties where we used to live was a lot bigger if you saw my vlog old vlogs you'd have seen like the size of the kitchen and everything and we had massive Halloween parties hence I've got millions of goblets and different things so 
I'm just going to put a few out in case people want to use them. I've got tankards. Um, I have my glasses. Oh, that looks like it's broken. This is my glass that Mark's mum bought me when we went out with the skulls on, which I absolutely love. But if you look at it from that side, it looks like it's gone wonky. Ooh, so that's my glass tonight. And then I've also got this one that I bought from HomeSense another time. So someone can use that if they want to. Um, just put a few out, a selection, you know. Um, I don't know if they need washing up actually. Nah, that should be alright. <laughs> should be fine. And then I'm going to go and decorate out front. So you can come with me while I do that. Okay, we have some cobwebs that I'm going to drape over the plants. And to really stretch them out. It's a nightmare to get these off afterwards though. It really is. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to get wet here because I'm up against the car. Just turn that bit off if I can. This is really hard. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, just cobwebbing it up. Ready for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. <Hiya. laughs> yeah. Just uh, cobwebbing up. <laughs> it's a good thing about Halloween, you don't have to dust. <laughs> Right, I'll just show you what I've done. So I've put the spider webs all along the plants and then we've got a bony spider here. We've got some grave stones in the plant pots. Right, let's go through the, the veil. <laughs> My little ghosties, let me just turn Rob and Josh off. Hey. Pops is here, washing a car. Hi. <laughs> Can you wash mine while you're there? Thank you, thank you. Um, I did say to the vlog last week that I needed my valet. Me? Yes. I said, AKA Poppy. <laughs> oh. So these are the little Moran ghosties. They've turned out alright actually. And then when they've cooled down, I'll do their little faces. Obviously, they're not as good as that. But they're do. They're do. They're squiggles. And now I'm just going to. Oh, I've put the eyes on this cake as well. And I'm going to stick a couple of meringues on top. I'm going to put all these sweets on this boo plate like as in a, I can't ever pronounce it, charcuterie board, is that right, <laughs> of sweets? That's what I'm doing now. I'm ready. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I've got my orange tidgets on. They look red in this camera. They're orange, I promise you. And let me have a close up on my makeup. Hang on. I've got my wine in my hand with my wine glass. I've got strictly Halloween on. Let me show you. Let's come out here in the light. So I've done orange eyes, as you can see, and the pumpkin lips 
I got the makeup idea off Pinterest. I've got my bouncy boppers on, but I think they're going to last all of two seconds because I keep hitting it on this neck curtain. <laughs> um, but anyway, I've got everything covered in cobwebs. Everything's spookily ready. Actually, let's turn this light, this light off and then it looks a bit more spooky. I've got my candles lit. Oh, we haven't put him on. He needs to go on. Hi. There you go. Okay. Um, I'm just getting. Ah! Look, 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 look. See what I said would happen? Happened. So I think these are going to not be worn. <laughs> but I'll see. I'll see. Right. I'm just getting all the food ready and then we'll start cooking. I've got all the plates and things. Um, I've got my list of food here. Um, I've brought some in. Oh, it's very loud. Right, so this is the food I've got so far. The table's looking very empty, but it won't be for long. Um, I've got my desserts out over here. So these are my little ghosties. How good did they turn out? I'm so pleased with them. That's the cake with the eyeballs and the ghost. And I've got the selection of cakes on here with a few ghosties. And then Lisa's bringing a cheesecake. So that will go there. Um, I've got the games up ready. So this one is Stick the Nose on the Witch. And this one is Spider Splat. So we shall play them later. Right, I need to go and get cooking. <laughs> is she there? Oh, yeah. So she knocks on the door with that thing. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Cruella, I don't, you know. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Still a pumpkin. <laughs> Still a pumpkin. Oh, she's wearing her Of course. Aww. Hello! Hello. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, no. Go in, go in. There's a party out here. <laughs> yeah, it's a bar. It's lovely for it. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, with the bench. But yeah, actually, I forgot if I'm working there, because the month was like, but that doesn't make sense now. We're queuing up for a drink. Oh, it's Christmas, isn't Christmas. Yeah. 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 Are you ready? Can we all fit in? Is it recording, is it? Yeah. yeah. Who's not in it? Chloe, oh, who's not in it? Oh, I'm looking there, look. Where are you? Oh, I'm looking <laughs> there. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking <laughs> at the wrong one. <laughs> 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 That's it, thank you. God, is that going to be fun? I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that. Oh, oh my god, it's scary Simon. <laughs> scary What one you got, Mark? What she got? Oh, oh, ready? Oh, 
<laughs> Spin round, Hang around, on. around, 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 and the other way, around, oh, around. What way is it around. that way? Around. Let me just. And then again. <laughs> And then go! Right, hang on, hold your hand out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. That's, really That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. Andrew's turn. That looks a bit rude, that. <laughs> I'm pointing the right <laughs> yeah. way. No, you're not, mate. You're actually like, like this. Oh, sorry. Right, keep going. That's right. it. Got That's them. half a turn. Keep, keep going. Keep going forward. You're pointing me nowhere. Right. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 It's coming oh. off a chin. Oh, it's a chin. Oh. I'm in the lead so far. Who's next? You're pointing me that way. Cheese! <laughs> 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 Who's next? Who's next? Spin me right round, baby, right round. Yeah, like a record, baby, round, round. And the other way. Oh my Someone gosh. Ready? Oh, ready? Oh, my face in the right way. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Go. That way. That's it. Up a bit. <laughs> Right near it. You are? Yeah, you are. No feeling. How long have I got? Go. Go away. Go forwards. Gets the where's the price? Number one spider splatter badge. I think I'll sit this one out. No, your name's on the list. You can't. Right. I'll, do it, I'll do it with the camera then. Yeah, I'll do it. 
I got I got ready because of the uh, oh the me art, battery's art. dying. <laughs> battery's from? dying from there. Devastation for Graham Potter as Chelsea lost 4-1 in his first game. Oh, zero. Good morning. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> We're knackered. <laughs> we had the, as you can see, the Halloween party last night. It went very well. <laughs> but we're just poop our pooped today. Poop our pooped is the word. We're just heading to a garden centre for some breakfast because we are starving. <coughs> Hank Marvin. And then we're going to go off to Tesco's to get a couple of bits and then chill out in front of the telly, aren't we? Oh, yeah. We gotta watch the Strictly Halloween special <coughs> from last night because um, we haven't seen that yet, obviously, and we've got other programs to catch up on as well. So that's the plan. It's a rainy day. Holes is in Brighton with Louie and their friends, so she's had a Halloween night as well. So yeah. Let's get going and get some grub. Ferris wheel, look. <laughs> so cool, isn't it? Yeah. I love the cable cars yeah, as brilliant. well. Brilliant, okay. And I love these little stalls. Let me show you. They're up here, look. This is what I would do. I'd create my own little market oh, yeah. Yeah. with all these. I love them. So cute. Oh, not a gingerbread house. Oh, yeah. We're witches of Halloween, woo. The ugliest you've ever seen, woo. We fly around at night and give you such a fright. <laughs> We're witches of Halloween, woo. That's my years of working with children coming out there. That's one of the songs we used to sing around Halloween. <laughs> So there you go. You may know it. So I know some of you have worked with children or worked with children. So there you go. I've got hair. I've got a, a hairband on my wrist and there's hair attached to it and it's really annoying me. Right. Happy Halloween. I've got my Halloween badge on. It's flashing away. Can it? I can't see it out there, can you? Can you see that now? It just smashed up because I was doing the washing, sorting the washing out and it went <laughs> and smashed up, but I could fix it. I've got my spider earrings on. You're going to see all this in a what I wear in a week vlog that is coming to you soon so yes Halloween but it's also Manic Monday I am taking all my Halloween decorations down indoors because I have a busy week I thought we only had one leg then but the other one was hiding um, I've got a really busy week again you'll be surprised to hear so I don't really have another chance to take them down and do you know what they've been up for so long now <laughs> I just want to take them down I've had the Halloween party and get nice clean I'm going to take the shelf of dreams down shelf of dreams is coming down and I'm going to put all my frames back up there just until the Christmas shelf of dream comes back um, which won't be too long it'll be a few weeks time so I just want a bit of a change for a couple of weeks until Christmas takes over you know there will be elements of Christmas don't you worry there'll be elements but I don't go full out until usually last weekend of November first weekend of December but the last weekend of November we're away to York with Angela and Simon so it will have to be after that that I will put my tree and everything up which is fine it will still go up it will still go up my hair's still wet it needs to dry but I've been having it up in my hairband so right i need to get cracking with this i've got two videos to edit today and what else have I got? i've got a nip to aldi's because we haven't got any potatoes or vegetables for tonight for tonight's dinner tonight i'm doing chicken in white wine um with crunchy new potatoes and vegetables 
green, probably green beans and broccoli, I reckon. So anyway, let's get cracking with this. I'm listening to a podcast, of course I am. And my choice of podcast today is Jamie Lang and Sophie Habu. Um, what's the married one? Whatever their marriage one is. Google it, you'll find it. I can't remember the name of it now. Ne nearly weds? Something like that. Anyway, need to get on. Speak later. Tuesday, innit? It's Tuesday. <laughs> Here's a mess. It's the day after Halloween. So we had about three quarters of my ghosty lollipops go. So what was that, about 40 children? Not that many. I thought there'd be more actually. I thought there'd be a lot more, but my award for the best Halloween costume goes to this little boy with his parents he must have been about two two or three he had a blow up dinosaur costume on and if I could have taken a photo <laughs> that sounds weird but he was adorable absolutely adorable he couldn't move in it he couldn't get near the door to say trick or treat <laughs> oh it was so cute so yeah um, that was last night but funny enough Mark and I were like there's not many trick or treaters is there because I thought the Littleys would come out sort of between 5 and 6 but they didn't they're later now so I got everything ready for sort of 5 o'clock and no one really started coming around till about 6 and then as soon as we sat down for dinner about up at 6 they all came so we had to keep taking it in turns to get out for our dinner and answer the door, but that's fine. So I've got some ghosty lollipops left, but I've tidied all the front... Oh my goodness, the weather. I've tidied all the, the front stuff away, you know, all the cobwebs and the gravestones. It was so windy and horrible weather at the moment. Last night, when I was laying there awake, I was listening to the polystyrene gravestones being blown around the drive, thinking, right, we've lost them then, but we haven't. They're all still there. They were just blowing across the stones. But, oh, I'm not sleeping. I'm just not sleeping well. Um, when I am sleeping, it's the nightmares. Honestly, I could tell you, I'm not going to, but I could tell you every single detail in my nightmare last night it was just horrific i really need a nap i need a nap it's half past 10 in the morning i need a nap if it was acceptable i'd go back to bed <laughs> trouble is if you sleep too much during the day then you definitely aren't going to sleep at night i am going to speak to my doctor um i phoned up to make an appointment but she is fully booked until three weeks time so they said to ring up in the morning for like an emergency appointment so i'm going to do that and talk about my tablets because i think i need to come off of the bell what is it called i was forget it something flaxine fell it begins with the v the one i'm on for my fiber anyway i think i need to come off that and go back on nortriptyline because that helps me to sleep at night because you take it just before you go to bed I'm still taking the Melissa Dreams. You know how you feel like you can't function properly because you're just too tired. But I definitely need to have a nap because I'm meeting my friend Michelle at one o'clock at Perrywood's Garden Centre. We're going to have lunch and look at the Christmas stuff. So um, you can come with us then. And we'll have a look round, see what's round. Stagger around there and stagger back again. <laughs> Yeah, they, they wouldn't go on my tree, but I like them. Please. And I like these. And then the... Oh, the, the, like the mirror balls, yeah, visible. Penguins. Why is everything so expensive now, though? <laughs> for the tree, yeah, just for the tree. Oh, it's got the old lights on, do you remember them? <laughs> I remember those lights. So this must be the 80s, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 1980s. 
Oh yes, remember it well. I don't remember my tree looking like that though. <laughs> Six ninety nine for a rainbow. And the end. Oh yeah, the old tinsel. You should chuck that on. Oh, there's your ones that. Yeah. They're nice. There's another one there. Glow gonks. Squatty gonks. <laughs> it feels like it's got a toilet roll tube in its hat. Oh, that's the glow one. Oh, yeah. He's got arms, that gonk. There's plenty of candy canes there. Oh, I like the gingerbread house. They are cute, aren't they? But they cost a lot. This one's 65. Really love these snowmen. They're really lovely. I wouldn't hang it on the tree, but I'd just have him have him sat somewhere. Sat somewhere. <laughs> They're so expensive, though, aren't they? The little felt ones. They're like ten pounds. I know. It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. I don't mind spending like the four quid for my one the other day. Yeah. I love that one as well. That's nice. Oh, I bought one of these last year. Oh yes, I remember. It was uh, Rizzo. He goes on the shelf of dreams. <laughs> God, a lot of gonks here. Big hat gonk. <laughs> it's funny how gonks have become a real thing, isn't it? And I it? love them. I've got a Halloween yeah, one. Like and them. I've got just one with a heart, which is a normal one. <laughs> <laughs> I love these ones. Look at him. <laughs> Reindeer. I love him. I do like the feathers in the trees. I think they look nice. It bulks it out, doesn't it? Is that a rabbit? It's a little rabbit. <laughs> Squirrels, like squirrels. Well, the last year, I Fluffy bird. Oh, this is the 1800s, is it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. That wasn't what I thought. I thought it was. It's nice. I like this one as well. Yeah. This reminds me a bit of the Titanic. <laughs> The way it's draped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything's expensive. Forty five pounds. Different. Looks a bit like fireworks on the top. just a ball of feathers yeah. <laughs> basically oh this we're still in the 1800s here yeah. oh look at him <laughs> oh he's cute <laughs> he's very cute Autumn gonks, aren't they? Yeah. With the little oh, lantern. I like him. He is cute. Twelve nuts. They're not That's bad. So they aren't bad. Oh, look, they're in the tree. <laughs> they put gonks in the tree. <laughs> That's really nice. Eighteen ninety nine. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm back from the garden centre with Michelle we had a nice time um, it's been quite a stressful day <laughs> in one way or another I'm not going into detail so anyway keep smiling Nicola keep smiling it's pastry week on Bake Off tonight so I am going to make a Nutella can you see that well 
I got the Audi's dupe of Nutella because we haven't got much of that one left. Um, pastry thing, roll thing. So I'm going to get it ready now and then I'll probably put it in the oven once our dinner's cooked so that we can have it warm later with a cup of tea. And then I've got to put the rubbish out and then I can sit, well, in between cooking dinner. <laughs> Wednesday feeling pretty rubbish today as you can probably tell um, I'm still going out though last night massive flare pain in this arm in the top was just horrendous and I've still woken up with it this morning so yeah it's not the best um, I think it's all due to lack of sleep and stuff, but I've made an appointment. So the doctor's ringing me today at some point, and I'm going to ask to go back onto the the nortriptyline. So we'll see if that helps my sleep, therefore helps my fibro. But I am going out, like I say. Um, it's mum and dad day today, so we are off to a shopping centre. Not shopping. Uh, well, that makes no sense. We are shopping. Mum wants a couple of things from one shop, so, and I really want to look round the uh, gifty shop that they've got there. And then we're going to go and have lunch, and then I'm coming home. So, it's not a major day out. Um, I also want to try and get some paint actually for Poppy's room. I want to paint one of Poppy's walls. You know the one? Let me show you. I'm doing, not today, I'm going to paint on um, Saturday hopefully, Mark's going to help me. Um, so it's this wall here, as you can, can you remember when I did all this pattern? And she still likes it, but where we had to take her shelves out, we haven't got that paint to cover it up. And the picture we'd need, because it goes right down to here, there was a shelf there, would be so massive and she hasn't found anything she likes. So we, she said just paint it. So we got this paint sample but it's too light so we need to get a darker darker paint sample so i'm going to have a look today but it's got to go with gray because the rest of the walls are still staying gray it's just this one wall that's going to be painted um so yeah that's going to be happening hopefully saturday if i'm up to it with mark um and then that will look a lot nicer because it just looks a bit of a mess at the moment with those holes. We've also got holes over here that we've filled but we've got this paint. So Mark's going to make them good and then we'll, we'll go over that with the paint, the grey paint. It's pretty. Christmas. 
They always have these pretty lights up here, don't they? Right, I'm back. I'm back. I didn't show you lunch. I didn't show you the shops. Shoot me. I just obviously not feeling great. So had to put me wrist support on because that went while we were at lunch. Um, I just thought I'd show you what I got because I didn't get very much. But I just want to go and sit down and, and chill out with a snuggly blanket. Um, from where we had lunch, the garden centre, I went into the works and found this sleigh for £2. So I can paint this up and I thought I can put some nice like cotton wool along as like the you know snow effect. I can really jazz this up. So I thought for £2 that's a great little project and then I can put sweeties and things inside it. So I was pleased with that and also I got this for £1.50, this sign, Christmas is coming. It's got the little Robin, Robin, Robin and Holly and I thought that would be a lovely little project to do. I don't know whether I'm going to use paints or pens on that one because it's quite detailed. So maybe pens and maybe a bit of glitter got to have glitter as it's Christmas. Um, Poppy, if you're watching, don't watch this. So I got this for Poppy's table present. They're all, they keep moving around, but three little Christmas ducks, because she loves her ducks, doesn't she? Um, and then Mark has got her for a the Christmas Eve box, and he doesn't obviously manage to get out shopping hardly at all, because he's working all the time, bless him. So I know Poppy loves these, so we'll, I got a, one of those each for him to put in a Christmas Eve box. Then, that was in the works, in the garden centre. And the only thing I got was in Marks and Spencers in the Freeport, which was this gorgeous, it's men's, it's a men's jumper. But look at this. Look how snuggly this jumper is. And it was reduced from £25 to 18 And then when I got it to the till, there was a further 20% off. And it's so soft and snuggly. And that with leggings, I just think is just perfect. I got it in a 2XL, so it's massive. Because I wanted a really oversized, snuggly jumper. So I'm so pleased with that. And then Holly, if you're watching, don't watch now. This is for Holly's Christmas Eve box that I've got. Oh, it smells nice. It's um, moisturising bath fizzer with heart-shaped lid. Mm. So she can have that in her bath if she has a bath Christmas Eve. And that's all I got. That's it. Oh, I did get some paint for Bobby's room. Let me show you. So I got this one, which is called Edenberry. Edenberry. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right, I've decorated this afternoon that Christmas sign that I bought from the works. And I'm so pleased with it. I'm going to get a load more and put them on presents. Um, so I'd like, I'll show you. Oh, here we go. So Christmas is coming. So I've used my Sharpies um, to colour it in. I do want to get some glitter spray at some point so then I can I can spray it but yeah I'm really pleased with it I think it looks so cute and to think it just started off like that and yeah I've jazzed it up so I'm pleased with that um, I'll show you where I'm gonna hang it oh I'm gonna put it up now because it says Christmas is coming which it is well it's very dark in here isn't it let's put a light on and I'm just going to hang it on there, like that. That's it. Yeah, pleased with that. It's so cold this afternoon. I know I've been sitting down doing nothing, so I've just put the heating on. Um, but I also wanted to tell you that the pastry thing I made with the Nutella spread, oh, it was so good, so good. So we had some with a cup of tea last night and then we both had some for breakfast this morning. <laughs> right, I just put my little house out. Remember the one that I painted? And I put the candle in and look at it. 
Look how cute that is. And I've got my other candle lit as well, but oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. I love it. Yeah, that'll be some shopping. <sighs> Happy Weird Thursday, look at the state of me. It's pouring with rain outside, absolutely belting down. And I still feel awful. <laughs> I'm really sorry, this channel is supposed to be a really positive, upbeat fibromyalgia channel, chronic illness channel to make you think, not to make you think, to encourage you to do things, okay, I'm encouraging you, I've gone and done the shopping with a flare up, I'm on a full blown flare up, this is my second day, and I'm in absolute agony. I feel like death and I've still gone and done the shopping. Don't ask me how I've done it, but I've done it. And unfortunately, Holly wasn't here because she was at the gym, so she couldn't help me bring it in. <laughs> right. Flare up. I believe this flare is due to, one, the weather, which has been pouring the rain all week and two stress they're the two things that i think are factoring into this flare plus the other thing i don't know if i've told you this but me and mark have cut out alcohol for november until we go to york with andrew and simon which is the 26th i believe so we're cutting out alcohol completely not even at the weekend just to give our systems a cleanse before the festive season starts and you know it goes gets ridiculous but my body is also thinking well hang on you know because I usually have a glass of wine in the evening not every evening I have two nights off a week but yeah it's like what's going on because I'm on my fifth day now so I think that's probably a contributor as well and it's probably going to be even worse because I'm changing my medication <laughs> so it's all good fun but anyway let's put this lovely lot of shopping away and then I can collapse and edit this and I'll check in with you later before I finish this week's vlog but I do apologize but you know what you've signed up for because a lot of you have chronic illness too and you can sympathize empathize with how rubbish I'm feeling right now how much pain I'm in right now and I'm still bringing you a vlog <laughs> so go me